Sadly, it is time to leave Phuket. What is good fam? What was meant to be a real short, quick flight turned into a stupid long day, so... Unfortunately, we've got to say goodbye to the bro. Today, he's going to hit the gym, do a bit of a workout there, maybe go for a swim as well. We're already halfway through the trip and it's going so fast like way too fast gotta just, just try and enjoy it while i can i mean Phuket's beautiful man it's an amazing place if you haven't been before come we're about to get ready tidy myself up and hit the gym so i'll bring you guys along man i gotta give a shout out to our hotel the grand cutter vip located in the beautiful cutter beach in phuket this is not sponsored at all totally my opinion this place is amazing, so check it out next time you're in Phuket. This is my last video in Thailand, so stick around until the end to hear my thoughts on the people, the culture, the food, and would I come back again? We'll find out. All right, fam, workout all complete. Beautiful place to do it. About to head back to the room, have a shower, and then I think go find some breakfast. Just heading to breakfast, but first stop, we're gonna take our laundry and get it done. Uh, it's real cheap here. And for some reason, in Thailand, when they do your washing, it smells better than it's ever smelled anywhere else in the world. Ask anyone, it's amazing. So, gonna get the washing done and uh, then head up and have some breakfast. So for that whole bag was was 105 baht, which is about a dollar fifty ish, and that's the wash, dry, and iron and fold which is amazing but if you don't want to pay that much you can come here and do your own for much cheaper sweat your ass off and wait and waste time no thank you it's so cheap anyway why not get it done there all right let's go get a pee there are so many places to eat around Qatar and you can get anything you want. Also, if you have a bike, then I would suggest taking a trip to Rawai Beach to check out the many amazing cafes and local spots because the drive is amazing and Naihan Beach which is nearby is probably my favourite beach in the entire world. We kept it local though, this place was brand new and it wasn't too bad. Sadly, it is time to leave Phuket. Uh, place that I really really love it's nice and warm today blue sky as well and we're about to head down to the lobby check out get picked up and head off to the airport where we are on our way to Bangkok so one night in Bangkok and the word you're the no you know what it is one night there we're gonna chill um, checking at the hotel down there and then tomorrow I'll be flying out to Bali to meet my family so excited to see them again it's been a couple of weeks now so Looking forward to that. Let's go to the airport, man, and check out. Thank you, Phuket. You've been amazing. See you next time. What is good, fam? What was meant to be a real short, quick flight turned into a stupid long day. So we got picked up from Qatar and then it's about an hour drive or so to the airport to, in Phuket. <laughs> And our flight got delayed, which really sucked because it's the last day and only had a bit of time here. Um, but that's the way it goes. And then the bro's feeling sick again, which is no good. And then we've got uh, we got a crazy driver. And dude was heavy on the brakes and like whiplash. And then got here to the hotel. I'll show you around soon. And you know, chicken took a long time and just wanted to go up to the room and chill. Um, and now it's five o'clock, so basically the whole day is gone, which really sucks. But anyway, I'll show you guys around. I'll unpack and actually I'm not I'm gonna unpack. I'm gonna unpack a few things, but not everything because I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow anyway. So nice, nice boutique hotel. This is the last one for our trip to uh, Thailand and then I'm on to Bali tomorrow. But I'll give you a quick look around and then I'm gonna chill, man, because it was a long day. Let's have it.
another warm night in Bangkok, man. Just gonna go grab some stuff. Gonna have a relaxed night tonight and probably do grab delivery for dinner. I'm pretty wrecked from today. It was a long travel day. I'm not too sure how interesting this one will be, but let's see. Let's go have a look. Found it. Oh, that was a nice little couple of minutes walk. Easy as. Right then, we got our snacks and just heading back along the soy. It's a fairly new soy, man. There's some really, really nice buildings. Very nice. 7 Eleven's real close. Good location. So, just got some snacks. Not going to get up to too much tonight. Um, so, I'll probably see you guys in the morning for the trip to Bali. Right, fam, about to check out of the hotel and head to the airport, man. Unfortunately, we've got to say goodbye to the bro. He's staying for a while and then he's got the Mish flight through Shanghai <laughs> and some crazy, crazy long route. But it was a good deal, so you can't beat a good deal, man. But uh, gonna miss Bangkok. Uh, but we'll definitely be back soon, bro. We'll definitely be back soon. You had a good time? I don't. Meaning. Such a good time, man. So good. So heading to the airport, in my mind, I replayed the adventures I've had here and I couldn't help but smile. Thailand is a unique country that I've really fallen in love with. Its diversity from busy bustling cities to amazing jungles and waterfalls, crystal turquoise waters and mind-blowing beaches makes this my number one destination in the world. And let's not forget the amazing array of delicious food. Oh yeah. The people we encountered were so friendly and they got joy out of seeing us enjoying their country and culture so much. I want to say thank you to the Thai people we met and also to the viewers and new subscribers who watch my videos and left so many amazing comments that really touched my heart so thank you. In fact, I love Thailand so much that I've already booked my next trip and I'll be back in the kingdom before the end of the year. So even though this adventure is moving on to Bali, I hope you enjoy the content until I get back very soon. Aroha atu, aroha mai, which means love received, love returned. But you always know what's wrong with everyone else. How is that? You gonna have to call your friends, tell them that you're gonna be late, cause I'm gonna need you to explain. There's been a whole lot of time.